So you suspect acute cholecystitis. Then you're going to go ahead and get an ultrasound of the right upper quadrant. And if needed, you're going to go ahead and get a CT of the abdomen and pelvis. When you get a CT of the abdomen and pelvis, it is ideal to get it with IV contrast, if possible, of course, if the patient's kidney can't tolerate it. Let's say the patient has severe epigastric abdominal pain and you suspect acute pancreatitis. Then you need an ultrasound of the right upper quadrant because the patient could be experiencing gallstone-induced pancreatitis. But also getting a history will let you know if the patient has alcohol-induced pancreatitis. So that is the key. So you get the ultrasound of the right upper quadrant, and if needed, you may also need a CT of the abdomen and pelvis with contrast because you need to assess for acute pancreatitis and any complications that this may bring.